this one right next to the swarm of a thousand robots created by scientists in America. Experts at Harvard University studied the way animals and insects work together to design this troop of mini bots. This swarm of robots can form different shapes without humans telling them what to do. In the animal kingdom, insects, birds and fish work as part of a team to find food and protect each other. These robots have been designed to do the same. They interact with each other to form these patterns. Each killer bot, as they're called, is the size of a penny. To create something like this, four lead robots are placed where the shape should be formed. The other robots communicate with these leaders to find out where they need to go. They can sense each other to avoid colliding, just like animals do. These robots could one day be sent into dangerous situations like a natural disaster searching for survivors or much further into space looking for life on another planet. Well, with me now is Dr. Gavin Brown, a robotics expert. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. They look really interesting, but what can they actually be used for? There are a thousand possible uses for this sort of thing. One of the most exciting things would be to send them into places that are too dangerous for humans to go to. For example, earthquakes. You could throw a thousand of them down and they could find survivors. Or you could send them, say, for example, to the moon and they could build objects for us that we might need when we're up there. And they're actually quite cheap to, to produce, aren't they? They really are. This is the most impressive thing about them. Each one of those little robots is just the size of a 10p piece cost five or six pounds to make and can be made in five minutes. And why are we taking so much inspiration from animals? Well, that's really because animals seem to have evolved to be able to do things that we haven't figured out how to do yet. For example, houseflies can flap their wings 200 times a second but are more manoeuvrable than our very best fighter jets. All right, and uh, are we doing anything in the UK that's similar to that project oh, in the States? Definitely, definitely. There are universities all over the UK uh, doing similar kinds of things. So we're competing very well with the Americans like Fantastic. this. Fantastic. Thanks for coming in this morning. Great. Well, you can find out more about those robots on our website. That's also 